I think so too. Where are we going? Here. Barcelona. A city that shouldn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> In fair Verona, where we lay our scene. <laughs> something, something, they all died. Something, something, comfy, cozy. Dark side. It's something, something, dark side. Uh, yeah, and I started the event. What, what event? Oh. Nice, thanks. I forgot that you have to manually start those. Kind of weird. Well, if if you don't manually start them, how do they know anyone actually showed up for it? I mean, I guess. Oh, right. In Cyberpunk future, it'll just automatically start and end on its own. The Augmented <laughs> Eye. The EKDV-186 gets historic update. Weapon enthusiasts are freaking out right now over a firmware update that... <laughs> make eyes. Makis. Makise. Heavy Industries is releasing for its EKDV-186 line of assault rifles. Full compatibility with nano camo has been announced, allowing civilian models of this weapon the use of nano camouflage, and the option to customize their look for free with the help of the nano camo app. We've been using nano camo in the battlefield for a year now, Makase's chairperson told the augmented eye during a phone conversation, and thanks to its flexibility, we can now sneak past the enemies using the environment to our favor. Our equipment is basically invisible with nano camo. The nano camo update will be released this month. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need a penis that badly. Uh, AM Township 64 announced. New waifu machine? <laughs> uh, Sukibon Soft just unveiled a new line of personal computers for the anime enthusiast market. This is after several attempts at appealing to a broader audience with the Uranus Game Console. Launch games have been announced as well. They include popular franchises like Monster Girl RPG, Monster Girlfriend, and Monster Companion. We're going for the weeb audience, said Kiririn51, a Sugabon Soft janitor. What's dignity anymore? Sugabon Soft plays, <laughs> plans to launch the AM Township sometime next year. Monster Girl Puzzle. <laughs> Going for the weebs. Weebs. Is it called the Uranus console? Yep. Yep. Nice. Yep. <laughs> uh, men prefer Christmas cakes, study reveals. For the longest time, the term Christmas cake referred to women aged 26 or above who are regarded as unde undesirable, just like a Christmas cake that ceases being useful after December 25th. Hey! But, but men around Glitch City developed a sweet tooth. Who doesn't like a mature woman? Todd, 19, told the Augmented Eye. They have all the necessary experience already, and plus, I'm so tired of spoiled immature girls doing stupid shit. I say bring on the hot office ladies. Jill, 27, is confused. Christmas what? Is that like the opposite of beefcake? After discovering the real meaning, she launched into an hour-long rant. I'll let you know pencil skirts are the best. Oh, that's our Jill. <laughs> yes. Uh, danger you. Uh, okay. So we've 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 read the Apollo Bank getting attacked three and four. Nano camo underwear. Hmm. Uh, I think I'll get a pair just to see what kind of skin I can use with them. Hopefully your own. <laughs> they will nickel and dime with the DLC. There's no way to use the skin you want. It's going to get cracked day one. Maybe, but I don't think it will be that fast. Yeah, I think I'll just wait until it's modded for custom skins. I thought the nano machine fabric was bad for your health. No, that's just a meme. My walls are made of that thing and I'm alright. Are the walls hacked yet? I'm going to marry Camotan. We now have underwear that can change its look. Don't you just love the future? I would if there weren't such a bunch of assholes with their business practices. Then don't buy the underwear. I won't. Well then. Okay. Uh, so we already bought what we wanted, so we're not going to get distracted. So, let's go to work. Time for work. Time work. for a very, very special character. Oh no. Ugh. <clears throat> Good evening. Ah, hello, Jill. And that cage? I... 
uh, brought my cat. Mm -hmm. Your cat? Did I hear you? the Nori Kato was in the bar? <laughs> Bring me that bastard, I'll give him the first best of justice. I'll make him eat the Kanto earthquake, I'll borrow his cap. <laughs> Wait, there are no evil on Muji here. Boss. What the fuck? <laughs> Didn't you say you bought Kato to the bar? My cat. Cat! Well, that's even better. Hey, Four. So cute. Why'd you bring him? I heard some apartments in my building were being raided. I don't have anything suspicious, but you never know. So I'd rather have him here, at least today. Ah, well, I'd say something about the health regulations, but we already had a pack of corgis here. Do you want me to take care of him in my office? Please. Sure, but he's a bit shy, so... All right, Ford, let's go to my office. And I think she didn't hear me. Say, Gil, how do you always come so early? I live close by. Really? Yep. She's got me a small apartment nearby. Something about the BTC housing program. Oh, yeah, I got mine through that, too. Anyways, let's start. All right, it's jukebox time. It's jukebox time. Jukebox, jukebox <sighs> hero. We're, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna march with the White Knights. Sure. Woo. Quinoa. Quinoa. I didn't uh. realize I was second. <laughs> yeah, usually I'm second. I'm shocked. I'm not. We did change up. Yeah. Oh, right. We oh, all shit. changed yeah. our names. Yeah. yeah. I went from top of the list down to being... Almost bottom. Yeah. Well, if you cut the, the one one of Christmas Pratt, you, you could go back to the top. It's not my. It's not my call. I was assigned to this name. <laughs> oh, but you said Santa wasn't a top. You're right. I'm the Christmas Pratt. Keep <laughs> oh. <clears throat> going. Back one. Underground club. Underground club. It is your turn. Enters. Uh, Synthestitch. Synthestitch. Where was Donde S. Synthestitch? I think it was in the back. This one. No, oh, it was dead middle. I was wrong. It's the same. By back, you mean dead center. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll go with A. Renee since it was on that page. Cool. E. The, the Tamale Wizard. The Tamale Wizard. Uh, Skyline. Or mage. Or sorcerer. Depending, depending on your mood. Where was Skyline? Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll do re base of the Titans. Oh re yeah, our favorite. <laughs> that is the one we did all twelve slots. It sure was. Right. <laughs> That's what I thought. Um let's go back to the first page. Uh, a neon glow lights. Want Skyline to play this track Skyline from Halo 3 ODST? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Paula or Tim, do you wish to uh, to add a music? Music. Um, one singular music. One singular music. Let's see. What do we not? Have? Ah, snowfall. Snowfall. It's winter. It's swintery. Uh, let's see. Let's do. Let's do. Out of orbit. Uh, go back to page eight. Page eight. Digital drive. Antus. Uh, Metropolis. Metropolis. <laughs> Got it. That is actually probably a more correct way of saying it. <laughs> probably. It sounds sophisticated. Sophisticated, yes. Yeah, that is almost what I said. <laughs> Good job. And Abby. Oh, uh, digital drive? Do we have that one? Yes. Uh, we already have it in, but uh, since you said it, we can put oh, wait, it back no, in Wait, no, no, don't put it in again. <laughs> I must pick something else. Uh, I need to pay attention when other people pick things. 
Um, wait. Uh, what about drive me wild? There, yes, that one, right there. No, it was on the page you were on. Ah. <laughs> oh, no, listen to that one I listened to the whole soundtrack after the last time we played because I can't actually hear the music while we're playing. Yeah. It's uh, it's real good. <sighs> time to mix drinks and change lives. Whoa. Oh. Oh dear. Oh yes. We knew it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he's totally brown. Like he is all one color. Yo. Cool what shit you know. Um, lady, did you hear me? A dog. Another dog. Hey, I'm not just another dog. I came here as a part timer. So you're the part timer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boss, I'm taking my break. It's too early. Shit. <laughs> uh, the part-timer is here. Huh, he came early. Why a dog? Why? Why, why, why? Because look at him. He has a Hawaiian shirt and sunglasses. Can't argue with that. And he's a Shiba, not a Corgi. I don't know what you're complaining about. They all look the same to me. It's racist. Granted, Shibas can be seen as the Japanese counterpart to Corgis. They're both funny looking and dogs used by the royalty. Anyway, starting today, this dog will help around here. My name is. It doesn't matter what your name is. Don't fuck that up in New York. Boss, please don't shout. Sorry. Just call him Rad Shiba. <laughs> Why Rad Shiba? What part of Hawaiian shirt and sunglasses don't you get? He's the raddest thing here. Uh, I guess. Thanks. <laughs> Rad Shiba. <laughs> Anyways, he'll mostly help getting orders, bring clients in and cleaning, but he ought to know how things work. Cleaning? That'll be a change of pace. You'll act like a client and see how you work. Uh, right. What can I get you? I'll have a grizzly temple. Are you okay? Yeah, just a couple of post-traumatic flashbacks. Coming right up. This dog wants a grizzly temple. The deja vu hurts. Deja vu? And one karma tree. All blended. Chris Temple. Here. Wow. This is awful. People actually pay for this shit. Hard to believe, I know. So, what brings a dog like you to taking a part time job here? I'm here to help the funding of my organization. Are you with the Sci Far to Toy Company? What? No, don't lump me in with those hurting supremacists. I have a more noble and benign organization. I belong to CIRA. CIRA? Canine Independent Rescue Association. We give a place where dogs can be saved and save them from themselves. CIRA is what I love, but damn, it's expensive sometimes. We decided to take part-time jobs to help fund anything it needs. We want to help Sira be the best it can be. What do you do at Sira? Pay treatment for hurt dogs, give food to the hungry ones, play with the bored one. We're there for everyone. Huh, that actually sounds nice. Hey, do you have a menu? Something like that, yeah, here. Now, let's see. Any recommendations? Avoid the part with promo drinks. Uh, the Grizzly Temple is one of those. Fluffy Dream? I like the sound of this one. Coming right up. The dog now wants a Fluffy Dream. It reminds me of my fluffier days. <laughs> How optional do we want to give the dog? I mean, he's there to be an employee, so do you really want to get him shmammered? Probably not. I also don't feel uh, morally content uh, intoxicating a dog. That's, yeah, but he's that, a cool you dog. Don't, you don't he feel rad. Right no, no, yes. no he, he's not just a cool dog. He is a rad dog. 
Yeah, so you should at least give him some garbage rain. He's okay. not just a dog, he's a Shiba, he's a rad Like, at Shiba. least bump it up to ten. Fluffy dream. Here you go. Well, this one's nice. So, why did you pick a bar? It seemed fun. I didn't need that many weird skills to be part of this, so it was my best bet. Besides, it's close to home, so I can get there by walking. And I do love me some walk. I could walk all day. Weird skills. Oh. Yeah, stuff like food handler certificate, previous work experience, or thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you pick a bar? Why did you pick a bar? Uh... On a whim, too, I guess. Uh, I wanted a place where I could see people come and go all the time. <clears throat> and bartending sounded a bit more glamorous than just being a store clerk. Oh, yeah. About the way you mix stuff. Yeah. Is it... Hey. It's a cat. Oh, a cat. no. Oh, oh, I'm no. All nice. Hey, Four, weren't you in boss's office? Hello, cat. Want to play? Let's play. Dogs hate cats or something? We don't hate them, unless they're intruders. Huh. You said his name was Four? Hey, go Four, let's play! <laughs> no playing allowed. You'll make a mess. Four, go back to boss's office. Meow. That's one obedient cat. My pride. My son. <laughs> you want something else? Yeah, but I'll talk with John Face here for a bit. Eh? All right. <laughs> the John Face gag gets me. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you look like a John. <laughs> I shouldn't get so why is, up. So why is your name dogs. John? <laughs> why are you John? <laughs> but I'm just tired, I guess. <clears throat> Who could this be? Familiar color, perhaps? Hello, Jill. It is a familiar color. Eh? That... that voice. Sit... Eh? Oh. Wh what happened to you? Oh. Nice seeing you, too. Well, I fell from a really tall place to a really rough spot. Are you okay? Do you need an ambulance or something? I just got out of one, don't worry. How did you manage to slip by the mob's lynching white knights? It was a bit rough. Luckily, these bandages helped me conceal my identity. <laughs> Why come straight here? I... The ambulance is where I got treatment couldn't strafe too far from the hospital. They're nice people. I've talked to them a lot while on rescue duties. I was nearby and yours was the closest friendly face I could find. I needed to regain my composure before doing anything else, so... Here I am. Um, if you're scared because they might come for me, I can leave, you know. What, what did I just do? History. How did, I, how did I do that? I don't know. I, I, don't, I, I didn't touch anything. <laughs> <laughs> the security systems of the bar are top-notch, and my boss is also the bouncer of sorts here. I'd say you're actually safer here, so I'm not worried about me. Instead, I'm, I'm worried about you. First I hear you were at the bank, then I find find out you disappeared. Now you show up with all those bandages. You fine? What happened at that bank exactly? Did you talk with Stella? She was worried sick about you. Slow... Slow down a bit. The medications make me feel everything more intensely. Uh, almost like a hangover. Sorry. It's nice to know someone like a bartender was worried about me, though. Thanks. What's that supposed to mean? Everyone I know has been ignoring me, so I was feeling lonely. Why would they? Well, you've seen the lynches they give to any white knight they find. By ignoring me, they're actually saving me from getting kicked to death. My good deeds finally paid off, I guess. Can I get you anything? Um, something sweet without alcohol. Thank God these pants still had my wallet in them. Oh, no, I couldn't take your money right now. It's on the... 
Jill, please, I want to pay for my drinks. I take it I won't be able to change your mind. Nope. I mean, yes, I mean, you won't be able to change my mind. Sweet and no alcohol, right? Coming right up. Say seems to be in a bit of pain. Let me make sure I give her something sweet that doesn't have alcohol in it. Sweet. Sugar rush. Hmm, perfect. I mean, that's, that's an option. That's also that an that. option. Mm -hmm. No. Nope. Oh, wait. wait, wait, wait. I forgot. That that doesn't actually do the thing. Uh, Spark Sparkle Star. Blue Fairy. Not the Moon Blast. Uh, not the Brantini. And not the Piano Woman. Okay, so. So, uh, so any of the first three. Sparkle Star. All aged and mixed. No alcohol. They used to actually sparkle, but too many complaints about skin problems made them redesign the drink without the sparkling. Oh. Um. <laughs> oh. They can turn into Edward Cullen. Yay! This will help me calm down a bit. So, what happened to you? Where did you fall from? I was escaping the place near the end of the whole thing, and I had to make a leap of faith. I've jumped from higher places, but I landed badly here. Most of my injuries are actually from some debris that fell on me. Oh, but my broken arm is actually from the fall. How? I rolled to mitigate the fall, but I made a bad move and broke it. Good thing I drink lots of milk. I was under a rubble for quite a bit, but luckily someone found me. Someone? I woke up in the hospital. They told me some guy brought me there. I don't know who he was, but I owe him my life. Huh. W what? N nothing. You just sound, um, cheerful. <laughs> I'm alive. Why wouldn't I be? After all that happened at the bank, here I am, talking to you, being able to talk at all. Don't think too much about it. I'm fine. Totally fine. Ow, 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 ow. Uh, um. Uh, how were things here? I heard there was a huge commotion when the whole thing happened. I had to sleep here in the bar on Saturday, but I guess it could have been worse. Glad to know that. Did you contact Stella? She was on the verge of despair yesterday. Uh, um... Hey, Jill, I want another drink, and, um, uh, um, uh, a Bleeding Jane. Is it really the best idea to give her one? Probably not. Just an optional path. Maybe. Because Bleeding Jane is spicy. But I think... Doesn't have any alcohol, alcohol, though. Yeah, but, uh, I think she really wants something sweet. And non-alcoholic. Okay. Is that what the guide is telling you? Is, is that the guide is telling you? That's, that's what Jill is telling me. Is it really the best idea <laughs> to give her one? That's the game telling you, hey, probably shouldn't do that. Huh? <laughs> no. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the blue fairy. Gives her, gives her the drink she didn't ask for. Game over. Game Four over. Four parts sugar. <laughs> yeah. Four parts sugar. One part, whatever the fuck Flannergide is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... Oh, boat grease. I wonder what these chemicals are made of. Yeah. You know. Cancer. Age. Mix. There to go. A blue fairy. Ooh, look at that. Here. Enters. Enters. Oh. Come on. Thanks. Yeah. So, how are things inside the bank? <coughs> Come again? What happened inside the bank? How did you manage to get through it? Um, I was with this nice bunch of people. Well, they were apparently nice at the very least. We tried our best to find a way out of the whole thing, cracking through the security, finding safe spots. But then, um, 
Sorry for asking all that. It was obviously over the line. N no, don't worry about it. It's just the... Uh, and, and now just like, still numbing me. Uh, I'll take my leave now. Uh, thank you for everything, Jill. Are you alright? I'm fine. I'm fine. <sighs> um... Eh? Weren't you leaving? Yeah, I was, but... Well... You know how I just said I was fine? Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm not. So, I wanted to know if you could lend me your ear for a bit. Well, I was gonna take my break. Oh, sorry. No, no, what I mean is that I could lend you an ear if you don't mind going to the back alley for a bit. Y yeah, please. I'll holla. I'm sorry, did that just say it was copyright 2069? Yeah. Nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. It is now safe to keep playing. Want one? Sorry, I haven't smoked since high school. But don't mind me, though. Smoke ahead. Colonel. Nice. So, why Coming now? Down. You're the closest friend I have nearby that isn't avoiding me, and I think I'm about to explode. Why? Uh, because I'm afraid. I'm I'm terrified. I'm I'm scared. Uh, my colonel was using me when I made that errand. He saw me as a disposable pawn. Uh, then the whole thing got closed at the bank. Uh, we were stuck there with no food for, or water for three days. Uh, I saw a man beaten to death after he found some snack in his pocket that... That... I... I... When I saw... I, when I was in rescue duties, I usually dealt with collapsing buildings, fire, that kind of stuff. But seeing people do that to other people is just... I... 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 Calm down. Nobody will hurt you here. Y you sure? I'll make sure of it. Just take deep breaths. I can't even imagine what happened there. And truth be told, I don't want to imagine it. But it's easy to tell you bottled up everything while you were there. Is it obvious? Kinda. Well, I had to get out of there. Fear would have only gotten in the way. And besides, I made a promise to come back to... Uh, uh. Alright, what's the deal with Stella? Nothing, I'm just... Afraid. The word loses meaning after using it so much in little time. She should have been worried sick, and I couldn't call her after I came back, and I'm afraid of what she'll say. She will insult you. She looks like that kind of girl. But I'm betting all I have that she will be quickly happy that you're fine and alive. Yeah, yeah you're, you're right. Think about it this way. A slap or despair for what's left of her life. I want to pretend to disappear, I mean. Besides, from what you tell me, you're pretty much only coming to your senses today, right? Yeah. It's weird how everything can change in such a short time, you know? On Thursday, I was a girl doing her duties, minding only her own business. Now I'm injured and woke up to find I can't go back to those duties. Part of me is happy. I, I knew full well White Knights usually did more harm than good. Uh, on the other hand, I really loved my job. Now I'm stuck with nothing to do. Yeah, I know how that is. The life changing on such short notice part, I mean. Really? I would tell you why I know that, but I think you should go see Stella right now. Yeah, you're, you're right. Speaking of which... Hey, Gil! What? 
do me a favor and escort Say to wherever she needs to go, please. Only if you cover my share of the work. Yeah, yeah. Okay, then. Let's go, miss. I said, let's go, miss. You'll have to get some threat names. Did Enders die? We lost him. Oh, no. <laughs> I think he died. Yeah. Oh, no. Enders, if you Enders. can hear us. Gil, you no longer need to escort her. She's dead. <laughs> now get down. I mean, he's still there, right? Like, did his computer disconnect? He might have. He might have. Or something. Oh, yep, oh, there he goes. Oh, we lost him. Yeah. I think he crashed or something. Yeah, yeah he might have crashed. Lost internet, Aww. perhaps. Thank well. you for hearing me out, Jill. <laughs> Anytime. Too much heavy well, stuff lately. Mix it up. No. Oh. <laughs> we didn't even get like halfway through the playlist. It's true. <sighs> Hope everything goes all right. Ah, hey Jamie. No. <laughs> Enters his other character. <laughs> hey, are you back? You alive? Enters. We you cannot hear you. We cannot hear you. You must rectify this. This cannot be. It cannot be. Oh. oh I, see, I see the blips. I see the the, beeps, the blips, the but, sweeps, but no reception. Great. In the meantime, somebody else take Jamie. Uh, I. I got. Did somebody else say I got you? Otherwise, I got you. All right? Can you hear me? Oh, there you are. Yeah. There you are. Yeah, I'm on my phone now. Just sort of up. I don't know what's happening. Huh. Uh. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> uh. Jamie. Ah, uh, you. You're looking at me, right? Are you all right? You look distracted. You sound really far away. Uh, just... yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm fine. Don't worry. <laughs> if you say so. Jill. What do I take for if he needs to use the bathroom? The cage has a small litter box included. Oh, that's convenient. Four? Four is my cat. Some apartments in my building are being inspected today. So I brought him to work in case they enter my place while I'm gone. Uh, I see. What can I get you? The usual gut punch. One, one, one gut punch. Coming right up. A gut punch for Jamie. While while I blipped out, is 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 Gil taking? Uh... Yeah, Gil Gil is taking, Gil's say taking say say. to wherever yep. she needs yeah. to go. Well, yeah. not anymore. Say die. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you got disconnected. So oh, that sucks. Say's dead. Oh no. <laughs> that happens so right. fast. What the fuck? Uh, five Gil. carmatrine for the for the lad. Oh, five carmatrine for the pretty lad. For the pretty lad. <laughs> Aged and mixed. Here you go. One gut punch. I thought when someone ordered a gut punch, you had to make a joke about giving the client a punch to the stomach or something. Oh, that. In theory, yeah. Gil's the only one that pays attention to that, though. Really? He didn't receive proper training. He read an old manual by my boss had. There was some sort of stipulation mentioning the need to say puns. It seems like it was some sort of anti-counterfeit measure. I mean, if they copied such a silly stipulation, they'd be caught in the in the act. Like when the dictionaries added fake words to spot if someone else just copied them. Yep. Why not tell them that? It's too amusing, to be honest. So, what's on your mind that's distracting you so much? Nothing you should think about too much. It's like those times you just feel uneasy for no good reason. You might have actual reasons to feel that way, though. Come to think of it, mercenary is quite the uncommon occupation, wouldn't you say? I'd like to see what I do as bounty hunting, actually. How so? 
The only jobs that don't take are those that have to do with people who just happen to be in the wrong place. There are some people willing to pay to off someone that has done no wrong. Things like killing someone that owns a house in the way of some building. Noisy report. I'm not better for turning a blind eye to such requests, but I'm not going to be the one dealing with those. The bounty hunter part comes where? If I'm sent to kill someone that has done something like stealing or killing and I get paid for it, you could see it is a bounty hunter. Yeah, I, I guess. It's just cheap justifications for killing people, though. In the end, they're cheap. However, I, I won't be the one to kill for petty reasons like that. Let's change the subject. I'll have something bitter if you don't mind. Huh? Uh, sure. Maybe something manly would be better. Bitter. And manly. Pile driver. Manly. Bitter. Burning. Manly really burning. Her, her opinionated drinks today. Mm. Yeah. Uh, three, three, mix, four... Good mix stop good. pile driver good here. Ah uh, yes. You just reminded me of my grandpa. He used to eat Bronson roots every afternoon, and said they made him stronger. Bronson roots have more nutrients per gram than most vitamin supplements. Your grandpa knew what he was doing. Seems like I always managed to make you uncomfortable, Jill. Sorry. Uh, no, don't, don't worry. Although I guess it's mostly because I can't wrap my mind around the whole taking a human life thing. Knowing you've killed people and are now talking to me here, it's weird. Reminds me of when I first took sex ed classes. Couldn't wrap my mind around people doing that stuff and living normally. Uh, unlike with sex ed, it's better than that you stay that way, mind you. Taking lives is not something you should get used to. Ah, uh, yes, I know a good way to change the subject a bit. Would you like to hear about the most dangerous bounty hunter in the city? The way you said that was like offering a tale to a bored kid, but yeah, I'd like to hear that one. You see, there was actually a bounty hunter organization in this city not too long ago. Law enforcement will put a price on a dangerous person's head and pay a quick proof of that person's death. There was a guy everyone called Jet Black James. He got the nickname because he always wore black clothes. The interesting thing was that the black clothes were there to hide blood stains he got from his contracts. His tracking skills were top notch. His information network was the best. Some even joked he would finish the bounty within half an hour, or he wouldn't take the reward. He was too good, in fact. At one point, he took all bounties and didn't take a single reward. He was just that crazy, then. The last bounty that the organization ever posted was on James's head. The police had him cornered. His last words were, Send it all to my account before shooting himself. Damn, why hasn't that been made into a movie? So, there were no more bounties after that. A registered bounty hunter was charged with many counts of manslaughter, using his old targets as proof. If somebody else tried to recreate the organization, the seed of doubt would grow in little to no time. What guarantee is there that such an organization wouldn't actually be? They could use the registered bounty hunters to take care of the most bothersome criminals, and then dispose of the bounty hunters by pressing charges using their targets as evidence. So, no. Jet Black James made sure that no law enforcement organization is able to set up bounty hunting with any. Ever since then, anyone crazy enough to be a bounty hunter works independently. Were you part of that organization? I've actually had those suspicions I'm telling you about since the day I've heard the thing exists. Glad to know I wasn't just paranoid. I don't know how well you changed the subject, but that was certainly one interesting story. Just to make sure, you're not a rebuilt Jet Black James or something, right? The name James is pretty common, Jill. Besides, if I remember correctly, his real name was actually Theodore. 
No. That story left my throat a bit dry. Give me a beer, please. Sure. One big beer. Fuck, I might join him, actually. <laughs> one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Big beer. All mixed. Beer. Here. <laughs> one of mankind's oldest friends. Cheers. One obvious thing is that you don't take the use of the word kill in U.S. stride the way Gilead does. I'm not good with violence. That's good. It's interesting, though. When I compare you two, it's obvious Gilead has seen quite the share of traumatic stuff. That guy's a handful because of that sometimes. Still, Still he's... he's one of... Oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> Still, he's one of the most reliable people I've ever met. Where is he, by the way? I asked him to keep an eye on a girl that came here earlier. I feel that if something happened, he could resolve the situation. His nose must be itching after we talk so much about him. Uh, yeah, maybe. Well, I've got to go. Send my regards to your boss, Gilly. Will do. Man, today's been quite heavy. Uh, Everyone... Wait. If I say it out loud, I feel like I will just tempt fate. But let's try it anyways. Everyone has just been gloomy face after gloomy face. And that dog. I sure hope the next client changes that. Ah, well, in the brand. Google. So, you still work here? I knew it! Uh, I, I mean, quite the surprise to see you here again, Mr. Ingram. <laughs> Go out me job. I needed the drink badly. I remember this crack house was nearby. What can I get you then? Well, I have a bleeding Jane. On it. One whole bleeding Jane. One. Three. Three. One, two, three. And blend. Bleed Jane. Here. Tastes like the pasta sauce my mom used to make. Watered down, artificial, and nasty. So, where do you work, Mr. Ingram? <laughs> I don't have a specific job, but there's this, well, network of engineers in need of assistance. I have no idea what they do there, but I can follow instructions and that's all they need. Recently I've been working on this Celia girl working on some experimental powered suit. My only duty is to give them maintenance once a day. What's that about a network? All those nerds know each other and they re recommend me. <clears throat> I don't ask questions and quickly learn to do whatever they need. Huh, sounds nice. It's pretty monotonous at times, though. Why are you giving me that look? You're just more cheerful than the last time you came. We all have good days and bad days. Today just happens to be a not bad day. Besides, with everyone scared shitless in their houses, the streets are clear with new traffic jams. That's always a plus. I guess. It almost became a bad day, though, thanks to some teens on the way here. What did they do? It's not what they did, it's what they said. They were talking about how they should just go to the Abatsu course HQ and blow it up. I've seen one too many kids throwing around. Let's kill the king attitude when it comes to Zairabatsu crap. Even if Zairabatsu Corp's building suddenly went down, the ones behind it would still be would be still alive. Killing the head honcho would means is our duty is to go to the next rim job around the totem. Hell, <laughs> I bet they're plotting to kill each other anyways. 
kids these days see too many action films where the rebels save the day by killing the evil corporation. Don't let it get to you. I do. I just hate teenagers. It's interesting, though. A big corporation in control is somehow more dangerous than a regular government. I wouldn't know. I'm not a political person. No shit. Alright. Give me a Zen star and try not to mess it up. Coming right up. Yeah, this bozo wants a Zen star. That guy's a bozo. Rock. Mix. Stop. Star. Here. <laughs> yeah. Just as nasty as I've heard. Why order it then? Not your problem. So, where's the Red Comet? My boss? She... Jill, four is headed your way. Let's play, <laughs> four, let's play. Oh, a customer. Sorry for the intrusion. You have a dog here? And a cat? The uh, cat's mine. His name's Four. The dog just hangs around here. He looks well groomed and his fur looks healthy. Seems you take good care of him. You seem to know a lot about cats. No, that's just common sense. Do you like cats, Mr. Ingram? I don't dislike them. But I do dislike having animals near me while I'm eating or drinking. So, I'll take my leave. Please come again. Don't count on it. He said that last time. Congratulations, you scared a client off. Four is as guilty as me. Yeah, but I like Four. He's my baby. Now go, play or something. Right. Ah, you're back. What happened with Say? That cat boomer girl picked her up. I couldn't see anything, but I guess she was happy. Glad to hear that. Did I miss something? Only Jamie and some other guy came. I see. You look exhausted. Yesterday was filled with people carrying heavy emotional baggage. I don't mind it, but dealing with them tired me out a little bit. I actually found myself wanting Dorothy to burst out of the door at any moment. So you missed Dorothy? Kinda. But anyway, nothing a good night of sleep can't fix. Let's just wrap things up around here and call it a day. Playing with your cat was really fun. Have $300. Thanks! That's enough to get me nothing. <laughs> Well, she's supposed to be the boss. Why That's is she like playing with your cat all day? <laughs> Jill's beer stash is running out. Buy some to prevent her from getting too distracted. Have a nice day. Or she's the best boss. It says I so on the poster. I why her beer stash is running out. <laughs> Insert can opening noise here. <laughs> uh, Speaking of alcohol, I'm going to make myself a cocktail. It's beer, beer time. Beer Cracked open a yingling. And, uh, a thousand dollars. It's about Killing as good as you expect. Slaying yinglings. <laughs> <laughs> not, not slaying the yinglings. I saw security footage of him. Killing yinglings. <laughs> Day nine. Oh, right. More danger you. AM Township 64. Hype. Literally no games. Is anyone else tired of this Monster Girl meme? No. 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 I'm going to marry a Monster Girl. I just want actual gameplay next time. Why would you want gameplay in a Sukebon game? I don't know. All I see is pretty girls with nothing to back it up. Any info on the hardware? It's probably going to be yet another underpowered piece of shit. It's not like the competition is any better. Eh, I think I'll just quit gaming. Nothing but trash as of late. Yeah, I rem yeah, remember when games were actually good and devs made them with love and care? Me neither. Damn. That's harsh. Relevant. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. They didn't love this game. <laughs> V 
The augmented EIE. The augmented EIEO. 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 Monster Girlfriend Chirari becomes the best selling video game of all time. The waifu revolution from the 2010s is no longer a laughing matter. What started as a trend has since gone out of control since the standardization of VR technologies, which allows people to live full-time inside their computers. As a result of this craze, it shouldn't be a huge surprise to know that the, mon the popular Monster Girlfriend franchise has become a commercial juggernaut, with millions of copies shipped in Glitch City alone. Worldwide, the game has shipped nearly 90 million copies since its launch in March, making it a record holder that won't quit. Is the waifu age real? Well, there's your answer. <laughs> Anime games are stupid. New ones, at least. Anime's bad. Quincy, I certainly like fried chicken. Proud of you. During our weekly interview with Prime Minister Quincy, he revealed his unusual taste for a certain rare food, fried chicken. I know it sounds a bit rude to say I like something most people don't have access to, but... I just can't deny my love for it. When you taste a chicken breast like the ones that Kenta make, you just can't go back, Quincy declared to the augmented eye. In other news, Quincy also confessed his desire to ban instant food, although he later said it was in jest. I wouldn't ban instant food since that's what people in the city like the most, and even though I hate it, no, I won't ban it. I wouldn't ban it. I'm pretty sure the ones sold are fried pigeons. Soccer popularity sinks as pro wrestling rises. Once known as the king of sports, soccer is no longer even a shadow of its former self. After the corruption scandals of the last World Cup, fans have begun drifting towards the theatrical magic of the pro wrestling industry. The latest GSF tournament pulled nearly 20 million viewers from Glitch City alone. As of this moment, fans seem to be vastly favoring pro wrestling. It's easier to follow something we know is predetermined as opposed to something that pretends to be a legit sport said a fan outside the GSF area. People kicking a ball is boring as shit, too. <laughs> but I like soccer. And because of that, you're castrated. <laughs> wow. Uh... Wow. <laughs> that's a bit excessive, don't you think? You think? <laughs> that's, and that's why you're cast. <laughs> anyway, let's go to work, I guess. Two soccer fans meet up, just go, so, you too, huh? <laughs> Good evening. Ah, Jill, good timing. Is it? You two always make me feel like I'm late. If it helps, that dog isn't coming until sometime later. Anyway, do you have something planned for Sunday? Uh, watch silly mega Christmas specials with 1,000 grams of black fur on my lap. Why? I was thinking about holding a small mega Christmas party here this Sunday. You in? Sure, why not? All right. Invite any client you're acquainted with. The more, the merrier. Oh, hi, Gillian. Michelangelo? You didn't bring your cat today? The raid stopped. They found whatever her or whoever they were looking for. So I want to take a moment just to point out that a thousand grams was that what is that what she said was yep, the weight yep, of the cat? Yeah, yep, that's yep. only two point two pounds. That is cat. a very tiny cat. That's a small it's a bean. Small cat, huh. a baby cat. Yeah, it's a cat. Huh? No, he's just small. That's a very small cat though. He's a little baby they, man. They make he's miniature right cats in the future. Yeah, well, my childhood man. cat Misty. She was like kitten size her whole life because she was like the runt. So. Yeah, like Petra here. Awesome. Little baby man. <laughs> I think it's also yeah. funny. I also think it's funny that I, I'm assuming in this universe, this is America. They finally switched over to metric. Uh, <laughs> it's probably wow. Japan since it was made in Japan, but I don't know. But like hyper capitalism, I mean, America. I think <laughs> they're, they're they're close to Hong Kong, so. Oh, okay. Japan. Yeah. yeah. Well, huh. I would also like to point out the uh, the beautiful irony in the statement of small mega Christmas party. Yeah, <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Anyways, so maybe, some more on the sea. You better start working. Yeah, you better. The uh, lives uh, are gonna cancel mega threat? Christmas. <laughs> Time to mix drinks and change lives. Welcome to Valhalla. 
Oh, oh fucker, you. He looks cool. Who's it gonna be? Um, gonna be? Uh, I Tim. nominate Shinawa. I'm trying to think uh, of a voice. Um. I want a fluffy dream. Perfect. May I see your ID, please? I don't have an ID because, um, I'm the ghost of Mega Christmas Past. What? I'll haunt you constantly unless you give me a fluffy dream. Understandable. Do you have money to pay for the drinks? Well, I. Do you? Yes, I have money. I have money. I have money. Girl asks for a fluffy dream, but she's got to be crazy if she thinks she's getting alcohol so easily. The so ghost of Mega like Christmas Not putting alcohol in it. It's yeah. optional. <laughs> I think it's optional karma dream. Achievement unlocked. Survival okay. to a minor. Yeah, let's let's not do <laughs> no, that. No, no, not Achievement a minor. Unlocked. Ghost of Mega Christmas. Sentence. Ghost of Mega Christmas Pass. Maybe you'll get the bad ending again if you serve a minor drinks. <laughs> Here we go. No, I actually got a drink. You're dumber That's than you look. So, who are you here to stalk, Miss Ghost of Mega Christmas Past? Stalk! Alright! I'm a ghost. Uh, that guy, yeah! Which employee did you leave without a Mega, kiss mega Christmas gill? Wait, which employee did you leave without a Mega Christmas gill? Leonard. Jill, please. Would have been funny if he reacted to that. <laughs> Sorry, kid. I'm not in the mood to humor you today unless you have some sort of ID. Here! Well, in a year or so, I would gladly serve you a drink. But until then, this is no place for you. But I already got a drink! Not alcoholic one. You didn't expect me to really give you a drink, right? Uh... So, if you would please leave. I can't leave! Not after trying so hard to even get here! <sighs> Alright. It'd be a shame if you left. You'd miss Start the talking shaman! Let's start from the beginning, Miss Norma. Ew. Did you know my name? You literally just I gave her your ID. Saw your ID. <laughs> it could have been a fake ID. I don't think you're stupid enough to make a fake ID that doesn't put you at 18 at the very least. Got him. Yeah. Oh, drinking age is 18. You're very sharp, Miss Bartender. You look like a nice girl, Norma. Why come to a bar like this? Uh. Um, you seem like you're in a bad mood, Miss Bartender. I'm always in a bad mood. <laughs> nah, she's just like that all the time. <laughs> Thanks, Kill. Shut up. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry if I've been harsh. These last couple of days have been heavy. And having someone underage here reminds me of a certain incident from last week. Incident? Well... Don't change the subject, young lady. Why did you come here? Why do you care? I can do whatever I want. Unless it's illegal, in which case anyone can, should, and probably will stop you. I I just, just wanted to be more wild, you know? Wild? My mom put way too many expectations on my shoulders. <clears throat> I've always been out to make sure I don't disappoint her. But it's never enough. It's not good enough to have good grades. She also wants me to go out and take a college preparation course. And I'm tired. I don't want to do things for her anymore. So, you came to a bar. Maybe if I came home, came back home smelling like alcohol, she'd leave me alone. Beat the shit mm. out of you. Ass whoop, no jutsu. If yep. I'm not good <laughs> enough for her, I might as well kill any hope she has in me. It's funny. I have a friend who is almost who is also being pressured by her mother. Really? Yeah, but in her case, it's being pressured to settle down and form a family. Oh. So let me get this straight. You came here to make your mother disappointed. Yes. <laughs> Do you like alcohol? 
Actually, I think it's nasty. Then you're doing things wrong. What? If you're gonna disappoint your mom, just do it with something you like. Like, <laughs> become a belly dancer because you want to be a belly dancer. Otherwise, you're just trying to hurt her for the sake of hurting her. Let's start with something. What do you like doing? I... don't know. I've been so focused on trying to be good enough that I haven't even been able to think about what I want to do. Don't you think you should start there? Eh? What good is doing something just for the sake of hurting someone? If she gets disappointed in you over something you'd like doing, you have the right to protest. If you're hurting her by hurting yourself over something you don't enjoy... Sounds silly, huh? Very. Go home. Do some self-discovery before hurting your mom, would you? At the very least, humor her until you're old enough to move out. Yeah, you're right. Thanks, Miss Bartender. Call me Jill. Jill! Alright! Careful out there. In the end, you did humor her for a bit. Shut up. Oh, a doggy! Ah, oh, that was Chibi, you know. Hello, little girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. B and J, how you doing? You're late. Miss me, J? You're too early. Gonna give me a head pat? <laughs> Not gonna see you here. I'm gonna sit up. Boss, will he be any good around here? I'm right here. I know. Of course, I spent lots of time training him. Why didn't I get show up last week? Because how the hell would I know you'd bring a part-timer dog? Here, let me show you. Sit. Sir, yes, sir. Roll. Sir, yes, sir. Paw. Sir, yes, sir. Training. Of, of course. It's only shouting, sir, yes, sir, and not doing anything else, though. I never said I did a perfect job. Hmm? It, is that a motorcycle? Oh, shit. Hey, not my office. In the end, he's just a dog, I guess. <laughs> oh, I forgot about this guy. Look at this regular New normal person. ass look this, dude. Look at this absolute guy ass guy. <laughs> look at this <laughs> absolute like literally <laughs> fucking <laughs> fucking uh Kanada from Akira. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can do it. This is a Short guy ass right? guy. <laughs> yes. Room. Oh. Sorry, it's only for clients. <laughs> oh, uh, promise me you'll buy something afterwards. It's that door over there. Oh, thank God, I gotta take shit. <laughs> Who the I'm hell sorry. are you? The other one. Another one. <laughs> I'm not I, said, I said, get out of my disc. But the world's ending. Oh. It was just a motorcycle. <laughs> oh. Yeah, four riders then. That was a horseman. It already stopped. Thanks. Dimension it. I need to buy something now, right? That's kind of how th this works. Oh, no, you don't have to. Sorry if it looked like I meant to inconvenience you. Oh, I'll roll something. I need a rest anyways. What can I get you? Uh, piano woman would be nice. Sorry, didn't hear you. I'll have a Mars block. <laughs> wow. Jesus. Uh, sure. All right, you indecisive weenie. Mars for <laughs> this the guy guy. is quick as hell. I think I you should make him the piano woman. Uh, I think you're right. <laughs> piano no indecisive weenie. <laughs> A lot of ingredients. Age, mix, <laughs> piano, ingredients, pea woman. <laughs> nice, woman pea. Here. <laughs> you look happy. Shut up. Is that motorcycle out there yours, Mister? Ami Mario, and yeah, it's a mine. Okay. Of course. <laughs> this dude is completely Canada. What the fuck? <laughs> Sorry for the noise. Oh, don't worry. It's not like you stayed outside too long or anything. So, what do you 
what do you work as, Mario? I'm voiced by Chris Pratt. <laughs> Shit. I think to paint the roads black with my wheels, leaving the trail of my engine sounds wherever I go. The ghost of Christmas Pratt. <laughs> <laughs> Unemployed, got it. I'm a rebel. Fuck the red lights. Fuck the speed limits. Fuck the helmet laws. The roads are mine and mine only. I am... I'm going outside with the dog. We'll advertise the bar. <laughs> Hello, doggy. Hello, shady guy. <laughs> shady? I'll be back before long. Don't worry. All right. Careful. Who is she? Oh, she's my boss. She was cute. There. Not that you're not cute. And, like, it's not like I'm in the girls, either. Not that there's anything wrong with that, it's just... So, where do you work, Mario? I told you, I'm a rebel. I... Rebels can't maintain those bikes for too long. What's your day job? I'm a delivery boy. That's really appropriate, I guess. What do you deliver? I'm from a courier company. It's going to like mail, I guess. It's called Planet Express. What? He's wearing a red jacket like Fry, so I mean. That's accurate. Futurama <laughs> reference. I'm always around the city, and I know it, I know it like the palm of my hand. Sure, I might not remember every building, but I remember every intersection and every street. That's Ooh. nice. I still can't take detours without feeling totally lost. Try guarding yourself with the help of landmarks. Around here, the Saber Station at the Saber Station's antenna is good reference. Er, I mean, what do I care? Fix that yourself, bitch. <laughs> do you want anything oh, else, Mario? Coming. I guess a moon blast would be nice. Moon blast? Eee! Gut punch! Yeah, yeah, that one. Moon he blast. just can't admit. He just can't like commit to being soft. Mm. Yeah, that that is his entire character. <laughs> you are tender. Ten drinks money. are construct. <laughs> Fuck the system. <laughs> Girly drinks are delicious. Down with the system. Fuck drink what, many drink what you want level. if you like it. That's all that matters, man. Yeah. Yeah. Girly drinks usually have more alcohol in them anyway. <laughs> that is like, also true. Yeah. That is also <laughs> very <laughs> true. <laughs> If Unless it tastes I, good and it turns you into a pleasant drunk, then by all means. Oh, yes. first yeah. drink, my first official drink in a restaurant when I was 21 was a frozen margarita. I don't Hell give yeah. a fuck. That's pog. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's the nice. first, pers first person I ever got drunk with was my mother. Nice. And it was with strawberry daiquiris. Hell yeah. That's nice. pog. Strawberry daiquiris nice. are pretty pog. Yeah. Here. Raspberry or better. Uh, oh, that's too. on stream. Uh, I pogged on stream. Not a <laughs> That is not pog. No, it's yeah. not. It really isn't. Oh, no, it's <laughs> it's the opposite of Tim, pog. who hasn't really said much Dude, this whole Twitch, stream. you're fine. <laughs> Dude, it's, on... it's literally... You are literally talking to Twitch. It's fine. <laughs> nope, this is super not okay. <laughs> I'm 50% of the viewers, bro. We have it for posterity. This is good. <laughs> it's a moon blast. Oh, I. No, never mind. Say, Mario, why do you try so hard to keep up that tough guy image? It isn't working. Maybe when you arrived and had to go to the bathroom, but after that you just looked cute. Cute. So why do it? Bikers are supposed to be scary, right? Rebels that cause trouble and ride free from society's ties. If we apply that brand of logic here, I should be wearing one third of my clothes and lighting drinks on fire. That would be fun. I That'd guess. <laughs> <laughs> you can do whatever you want and dress however you want. It's just that you look like you're trying so hard. Like, you don't really enjoy that. It's not a lie. Who says you can't dress as a biker and still be a nice kid? Yeah, but other bikers sounded like something someone in high school would say. <sighs> it's just advice. Don't take it too personally. No, you're right. I don't have to be that way. Unless you want to. I ain't stopping you there. Yeah, but I don't. It's tiring and I don't feel good. If 
you want. You can try to stay quiet. You were pretty intimidating when you did that. I see. Well, you have another drink, or did you have too many already? I can handle another one. Give me your fringe weaver. Sure. He actually asked for a fringe weaver instead of just something manly. Good for him. He's yeah. opening up, kind of. Oh Jesus my Christ, God. that's a lot of alcohol. What this man is riding Jesus. a motorcycle. All aged. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's just rubbing alcohol with flavor. <laughs> with a spoonful rubbing of sugar. Rubbing alcohol with one Literally drop of grenadine. 90% isopropyl alcohol with a sugar cube in it. Yeah. Never clear. <laughs> yeah. It is ever clear in a sugar cube. That is that is what this is. <laughs> Five bucks says he vomits. Here you go, one fringe weaver, one fringe weaver. Here. Yeah, that's the one. Thanks. Say, that guy over there. Gil, what's up with him? Are you dating him? No. Is he seeing anyone? Not as go. far as I know. Do you think he... <laughs> he, he, he... He... Bikes and motorcycles? No, never mind. I said nothing. Thank you for everything. What year does this game take place in? Please come again. Uh, 2070 X. Okay. Oh. Ah, uh, Gil, you heartbreaking fuckboy. Eh? What? Nothing. <laughs> I'll be taking my break now, Gil. Okay, careful. Poor Gil didn't even do anything this time. No, no. he didn't do anything. <laughs> he's just the he's just the butt of jokes <clears throat> and John faces. That's and what John I was really Cena. hoping he was asking. He's like, uh, who's that guy over there? Oh, Gil? Oh, you sure his name isn't John? Yeah. <laughs> did I? I did. Yeah. Nine. Nine. Good. It's now safe to keep playing. Billy didn't smell like poo today. That's a new one. All right, back to business. The same voice actor for both the dog and boss. Can you hear me? Okay, oh, hello. We're, we're back. We're back. Dinosaur Any story. Any luck? I managed to give out some flyers, but most people were distracted by the dog. Naturally. <laughs> I had to tell him to go to the Rad Sheba bar to get their attention. Oh. Anyway, I'm back to my office. You stay here. Fine. What happened to Sir Yes Sir? He didn't. She didn't say it in the form of a command. True. <laughs> you know. Now, uh, uh, give me a second. I'm trying to prepare myself. <laughs> <laughs> Mentally preparing. The door opens, and the crowd goes wild, and they see... Ah! Dog! <laughs> oh, sorry, my mic isn't picking me up at some point. Stop, little girl. What are you doing in a bar? Uh, honey, some help here. Hey, dog. I heard cats in the alley. Really? Uh, check them out. Get out of here! Yeah, that's a good dog. Yeah. Wow, you really are bad with dogs, huh? Did I make it too obvious? Why, though? I don't know. Oh, hey, John! Hey. <laughs> John. <laughs> I think it's just because I got that trait at random. When AIs are created, they're given fears or tastes completely at random. I just happened to get stuck with a fear of dogs and chinchillas. Chinchillas are extinct, though. No! Thank God. Oh. <laughs> That's it. That's <laughs> this game's bad. That was such a strong reaction. <laughs> I mean... So sad! <laughs> chinchillas are extinct. <laughs> are they not already endangered? Probably. Why endangered? It just gets worse. No. The future is bleak. Well, it's yeah, that time well. of the month, so I'll have a bleeding chain. Oi. Coming right well, hey. uh, uh, up. That's great. A that bleeding chain for Dorothy now. in honor of her time of the... Wait, robots month. do that? I, mean, I don't know. She's, was it, she's, she's anatomically, anatomically in every way. Every way. Yeah, that's okay, yeah. You, you got me there. 
I honestly interpret that as she has like a craving for blood. She's a vampire. Nice. She's just a serial killer. Yeah, it's, it's the full moon. The <laughs> she does have guns for hands. Yeah, you do. Guns for hands. Guns for hands. Wow, I actually came with like bleaching. Okay, hardware. Yeah. That time of the month. Do Lilla menstruate? We're getting asking the real questions. Oil. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. There are a few maintenance things we have to do every month, but those are a different story. Then what time of the month is it? The time when I feel like drinking a bleeding chain. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dorothy is the best fucking character. She's so good. Uh, so, how's business? You'd be surprised by how many people get struck by holiday depression and need some Dorothy in their lives. Giggity. Although it's also the season with the most competition. I didn't know you had competition. Of course I do. Both humans and Lilum. Half of them got a sexy Santa dress, and that's not fair. They were sold out. I wanted one too. But maybe it's better that way. How so? The other girls like to dress in skimpy clothes and show a lot of skin. That scares off lots of people. I learned that the best way to maintain regulars is to just dress normally. Really? If I dress normally, they can just pretend I'm some acquaintance. No need to hide me until reaching the room. Hell, some even invite me to a dinner or a movie before anything else. Wow. Although I must say, it's a bit hard to get the clients in the first place. They can't tell what I do at a glance. And the first time they see me after a call, they think I'm just making a prank or something. But free movies. Huh, I never saw it that way. Which reminds me, do you serve only humans or do you serve Lilim too? Humans only, but I do have an at least 40% organic policy. 40%? Human from the neck up. Dicks preferably organic, but I can make exceptions. Well. For females, I'm not so strict, though. Huh. Why? Do you know someone that might be interested? No, just mere curiosity. Well, your curiosity left me thirsty. Get me a blue fairy. A big one, would you? I thought it was that time of the month. A big blue fairy for the small pink-haired pixie. <laughs> big! How optional? Big! How optional? How big, you How mean? Big. How optional? Ten? There we go, that's big. Okay. As big optional blue fairy. as possible. As optional as possible. Ugh. Oh, I can't add eleven. All right, ten is ten is the maximum amount of karma we can put put in this drink. Very right. well. Mix it all up. Uh, aged. Blue fairy. Success. There you go. I wonder if anyone has seen fairies after a couple of these. Some guy tested that by drinking as many as he could. Thought he saw one, but he was dizzy, and what he'd seen was his puke. Gross. I hope it was oh. blue. <laughs> you know. Earlier today, there was a mega Christmas spirit around here. What about it? That I'm realizing I made a fuss about serving drinks to someone underage, but here I am. Nothing in particular, just a funny story. I have a funny story myself. It's a mega Santa prank. <sighs> the watch. Mega Christmas has mega Santa. <laughs> yup. It's I love it. every year. <sighs> First, I pick them all. Wait for a day with lots of people. Then I go to Santa's lap, and when he asks what I want... I beat the shit out of all the kids in the mall. I say in the most innocent tone I can muster, I want you to make me a woman. Higgly. Jesus Christ. Sometimes they try to cover it up. The Lola wants to be human! It's then when I say, no. I want... You. After that, I say, well, at the very least, I want a dildo, a big pink one, or a very bumpy cucumber. Uh. Sometimes I spice it up. Instead of cucumbers, I ask for a pony and a crane to lift him. 
Oh, what the fuck. <laughs> I once thought about screaming, HELP! I'M BEING MOLESTED! But I remembered it was a prank. I didn't want to ruin the guy's life. Fuck. Oh, consider it. <laughs> Although I did get a client that way. He became a regular soon after. Huh. But yeah, three years and they still don't get it. That's always me. Oh yeah, how old are you? Old enough for anything you want. Numbers, I need numbers. Are you really asking good girl her age that way? Okay then, tell me your age first. 27. No fair! You didn't get fidgety or anything like that. <laughs> Fine, I'll tell you. My model's designed to look between 10 to 13 years old, but my last checkup said my mental age was 24. How long since you've been deployed? That's a secret I'll keep with me. Fair enough. I expected you to get all uncomfortable talking about your age, though. Why didn't you? With how dangerous everything's been lately, every year you get matters. Getting old isn't a curse, it's an achievement. Achievement, get. You got older. <laughs> you should make a shirt with that, because if you don't, I will. Feel free to do so. Do you want anything else? Let's see... The chinchilla. <laughs> oh! A cobalt velvet! It's been a while since I've tried one of those. Alright. Guess we're at cobalt velvet. Weird. Rock. Mix. Done. Velvet. Cobalt velvet. Yep, this is the one. <laughs> Do you like it? I don't dislike it. I guess I'm not mature enough for these drinks. Hey, honey. Have you ever seen a Mega Santa gangbang? No, but I sure would like to. Uh, that was fast. <laughs> That Mega Santa that became a regular of mine, he once invited like eight of his friends. I think we got Dorothy drunk. Game things are funny because with that many guys, no one knows what to do. They think about using you too, but they don't want to touch the other guys. Cowards. Understandable. <laughs> well, you should have thought about that before getting naked in front of other guys. Eight guys, and in the end, only two got into it while the others left. That's awkward. <laughs> that Even my regular really left. Yep, we definitely got a drunk. I've ne I've never actually like gotten a character drunk before, aside from streaming Chan, who asked for it. If you look close enough, her heart, her eyes are doing the heart thing. Oh yeah, they are. Eye pupils. I'll regret asking this, but were all the other guys? Yep, they were all Mega Santas that worked with him. Oh, I don't like that. Uh, of mm. course they were. Never invite your co-workers to a gang bang. <laughs> it's Santa Con. Oh, ho, ho. Mega Santa Con. I've been in many, but I still don't get the charm of gang bangs. Orgies I can see, though. What's the difference? There's a, dis well, there's a like, a bigger dis... Never mind. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I don't want to know. That's an incognito it, search it, for you. It's a question that we should answer oh. once the stream is done. Yeah, that that is an off-stream <laughs> question. <laughs> I answer, I don't know. I refuse. <laughs> Just to say, one's more one-sided than the other. No, oh, don't worry. I left a sticky note. You We're talking about question. this. The stream's done. <laughs> you did ask on stream, and I regret my decision and the words that come out of my face hole. I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Available. <laughs> what is what is this devolving into? Oh, this is great. Chaos. Pretty standard. <laughs> you know, just just getting just getting robot drunk. Does that actually affect her? Uh, like, how do robots and consume... She's she's anatomically just... correct. correct. In every way. <laughs> every <laughs> way. I think they're technically cyborgs. Yeah. yeah. More accurate, yeah. R robots Synthetic humans, not. basically. Yeah. They're synths. Yeah. Uh, they can upload and download their consciousness Only a synth into other brushes their... <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I think, they, I think they mentioned... Like, when, I think Dorothy mentioned when she first showed up that, like... Alcohol, like, they don't technically get drunk, but alcohol kind of, like, affects their sensors a little bit to, like, simulate being drunk. Ah. Huh. Interesting. Right. Well, either remembering that got me turned on, or the alcohol is kicking in. Either way, I'm leaving. Bye, honey. Bruh. 
Sorry, I was on mute. <laughs> that girl has seen some shit. Now I can't see Mega Santas with the same eyes. Why didn't you tell her you missed her yesterday? Forgot about it. Find any cats. Why not look again? Good idea. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh, oh, anger God scarf. Uh, I actually don't remember who this character is at all. Is that is you that official forever? character name? Anger Another... scarf. <laughs> it is now. Anger that, that scarf. Is now. <laughs> anger scarf. Huh? Another kid. Like that. Anger scarf. <laughs> Maybe the bar got popular at some at some middle school. That would be a hassle. <laughs> oh, gods, maybe Alma was right. Right about what? Well, the other day I was asking your opinion on the whole Alice Rabbit thing. For the whole massive transmission hack thing. And at some point she talked about hacking becoming a fad and said, Imagine if suddenly a group of tweens broke into this bar and started asking for drinks. And today <laughs> there have been two kids already. And all they say is dot 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 apparently. Uh... How would bartending become a fad? Maybe a cartoon? Or streaming Inch channel? cartoons don't show any <laughs> alcohol. Streaming, streaming chan. chan. <laughs> streaming True. chan. Oh, streaming chan. Uh, excuse me, miss. Still just dot dot dot. <laughs> this is no the place for kids, are... so you should... Not say anything. Absolutely um... nothing. <laughs> she could have just glare you into submission Gil, she's staring not even much. a glare it's like a it's like a peeved frustrated like why aren't you listening to me face and she's yeah. saying nothing <laughs> she's not ordering anything she's not causing trouble and there's nothing inappropriate here <laughs> unlike dorothy i mean nothing inappropriate aside from alcohol but alcohol is everywhere anyways so what yeah. do you suggest let her be i don't know maybe she's just <laughs> curious about the var she's saying nothing Maybe she's curious and shy. Also, it's rude to speak about people you have in front of you like they can't even hear you. Yeah. I mean, maybe she can't. Still question marks and still dots. No. Ah! How the hell did I startle you? <laughs> what do you want? Can you help me out here with the beer? Right. The a beer. beer. For Gil. For, for Gil. Ha haven't I seen that girl before? Be you anger card? I just want her to vanish by the time the menu goes down. <laughs> and she's <just> gone. <laughs> right. Mix beer. Good. Here. Nope. Still Thanks. There. And lower your guard a bit, please. <laughs> oh, yeah. Before I forget. The disposal unit comes on Sunday. You have any expired ingredients on your side? Oh, right. Yeah. Ingredients the bottle expire? Of chain that's like a month past, past expiration. Put it by the sink so I remember to dispose of it. Thanks. Oh, finally words. Any takers? Who would like? Oh, no. oh my. Oh, somebody. But, 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 yes. Ma. A little apple. Oh, jeez. <laughs> what? Can you maintain that? Stuff. <laughs> Can you maintain that? Yes. Let's find out. In yeah. worst case, I'll do it. In worst case, I'll do it. Same well, voice. I can also do that same voice. That's you know what? Question. I wasn't intending on doing that hormone monster, but that's what it is now. You could also do like yeah. Connie as well. Oh, oh, oh or Missy. <laughs> I'm not sad, I guess. I'm not jubilant out, but. Oh, I mean, I was about to write the choices in love. Where's the choices? Question. I'm just imagining a smaller Grossberg. <laughs> just, just she just starts like dancing like Schmeagel. I mean, I mean, I can only, I can only picture Rick. I, I, I might have one or two regrets, but I guess it could be worse. Regrets? Yeah, I mean, don't we all? Also, I mean, what are you do? More of a meat wad. Yeah. It is more of a hybrid of all of the voices. Hey, Jill. Ah! Jesus Christ. Again? Aren't you a bit on edge? Maybe. What did you want? Didn't you borrow the screwdriver the other day? I did. Why? I forgot to take the coins from the arcades to, to the cor in the corner last week. So I needed to take them out. Oh, let's see. Here. 
It's not like they see much action these days anyways. Up change is still money. Pocket change has saved my ass many times. What? Did you throw it in someone's face while escaping? That only happened once, and the old lady started it. Right. Why does an arcade still use coins nowadays, or physical money, when you get down to it? For the reason arcades still exist. Nostalgia. Maybe. Almost! Uh, I, y yeah? Do you recognize me? Recognize you? Yeah, to my worst fucking nightmare. I want to say I do, but... Uh, sorry. Oh? You can't remember the word sister's face? Oh, god damn it. Sister? Oh. Sorry, but I don't have any si- Sister? Not even a sister-in-law? Oh my god, why did we go with this voice? <laughs> no way. Gabby, is that really you? God, I'm so sorry, but you've just grown so much since I last saw you. How long has it been? Three years. Jesus. Right. So you know her? Yeah, she's actually my girlfriend. My ex's sister. What now? Uh, so, how have you been doing? I actually had to transfer spirals, and I managed to skip a grand test the admission tests. I'm at a middle school next year. With that kind of voice. You've always been a smart one. <laughs> so no, no, baby. Yeah. Oh, my god. oh my god. <laughs> is this that about what you want to study in college? No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's Speech not. Speech therapy. That's what she was thinking about studying. You always said you wanted to be a scientist. I'm a speech language pathologist, but I guess I still have a couple of to think about that. Well, don't feel mm. pressured about that. Maybe you'll need a sabbatical year. So, how's Lenore? Wait, who's Lenore? Her sister. She's, uh, she was, she was my girlfriend. So you actually had a relationship with something that wasn't a cat? Color me surprised. Hey, don't talk Fuck shit off. about my baby. Fuck off, John. <laughs> so, how's, how's Lenore doing? She's dumb. Uh-oh. She's what? The fuck? Um. <clears throat> Sorry, dead. I... I believe said dead. I don't think I heard right. My sister's dead, Joel, so that was Saturday. What the fuck? Oh, my God. Saturday. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. This voice doesn't, doesn't help. No, <laughs> oh, I don't like this at all. I told the little bad news, baby. <laughs> Jesus. Come on, Gabby, stop, stop fooling around. No. You stop fooling around. I mean, wow. My sister was left to suffer a disease alone while you melt with her, mix and drink and chat. Oh, fuck. Goddamn. Goddamn, Rick. Calm down. <laughs> wow, this is a tonal whiplash. <laughs> this is, yeah. I really don't like this. Wait, Lenore was sick? I mean... of, of what? Since when? Nicholas, none machine rejection. It's over a heart attack. Ew, what the fuck? She started complaining about the chest pain. Not long after you left. With all the talk about getting your freedom worth it, Jill? Was it right to be maybe worth the life of my sister? Why are you lashing out at me like that? Did I infect her with the disease that killed her? No, not. It was too much of a coincidence that she started getting worse and worse right after you left. After your fight. <clears throat> Need Flynn. There we go. <laughs> I'm not surprised that the fight played a key role in killing her. But that's just speculation. You can't expect. I'm all in that because you wanted freedom. What kind of freedom is so intensive that means you hurt the nice, serious relationship? Was this freedom so important you cut out contact with her? Hmm. Was this right. freedom so important? Alright, right. stop, 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 stop. We're doing a different voice. I'm making an executive no. decision. Stop hurting yourself. I'm not. I'm actually not. You're hurting Daniel. You're stop hurting it. my mind. What do you do? What do you gotta do, baby? 
<laughs> Shut up! Oh. I didn't kill your sister, for fuck's sake. It's not like I infected her with that nanomachine rejection. Hell, this is the first time I've even heard she was sick. Do you really know what kind of fear drove me to have that argument with your sister? Do you even understand the fear of feeling your youth slip through your fingers? Do you think it was all easy for me? I was scared. I'm still scared. But I need to grab hold of my life. But it has nothing to do with your sister. I... I loved her. Do you think that fight didn't hurt me too? I... Oh. Oh, God. Ah! I... I... Make sure that girl gets to wherever she needs to go safely. Meanwhile, Chief. Yeah. There we are. Good, good. Yeah. yeah. Got you now, yeah. Uh, take it. Home. Yeah, you're cutting out still a little bit. Frick. One car. Might be. Yeah, as I say, it might be internet or just Discord's messing. Yeah. Alright. How's that? Yep. You're good. Better. Man. Sounds better. better. Right. Hopefully, streaming, introducing this. But hey, Jill, you want to grab some to eat? I'm not hungry. Want me to come in, keep you company? I, I'm fine. I just, I just need to be alone for a bit. Jill, you can tell me what you're feeling. It's okay. It's not okay. It's, it's not. Get out of there. You get out of here. Come here, Jill. Come here. It's, it's just... I feel like part of me is crumbling right now. My, my old girlfriend was sick and I didn't know anything about it. Her sister came to deliver the news and she held nothing but animosity for me. Not only that, but I lashed out at her too. History fucking repeats itself. Maybe if I hadn't cowered back then and apologized. Maybe if I wasn't such a selfish little shit. Maybe... Maybe. Thanks, boss. I, I really needed this. You want me to stay with you today? Thanks, but I actually need some time for myself. <laughs> some me time to put my thoughts in order. Yeah, I understand. But don't do anything funny, you hear me? If any weird thoughts come to you or if you feel too anxious, call me. Yeah. Hey, four. She's in your care, you hear? Meow. Remember to call me. I'll call you later to check on you nonetheless. Remember, I'm here for you anytime. I have $300. Here's $300. But you really Man. like that cutesy game poster she saw. Buying it will prevent her from getting too distracted. Wow. Jill would like this cutesy game poster to question. make her forget about her past when, misdeeds. When is rent due and how much is rent? Uh, I believe I think it we're is fine. Ten thousand dollars at the end of the month, at like day. Yeah, so we'll be fine. Because we'll, what? Did, oh, because the, the electricity bill doesn't come until after that. Yeah. Yeah. I believe so. So you might run out of electricity because you just paid rent, but you know. Cute again. Yeah, I think we'll have electric bill. Like eight grand. We just buy things as they come. Yeah. I forgot of like this is a nice cutesy game with a lot of a lot of chill fun. Oh yeah, rents due. Yeah. Bills you need mm -hmm. to pay. It adds ah, that little... That's life. It adds but that one... the worst one... that can happen if you don't pay rent is you move in with Ama. Yeah. I'm a modder. And that's, you struggle that's a pretty with big, big win. things. Like, there's, there's worse things. Sixty-six American Kid returns. Challenges Giant Yusuke to a title match. <laughs> Ever since Giant Yusuke won the GSF belt, he's had nothing but negative responses from fans. Challenger after challenger has tried to take the title away from the imposing giant, but nearly all of them were injured in the process. 66 American Kid surprised the GSF world by returning to action almost four months earlier than expected, 
and then challenging Giant Yusuke to a title match on January 4th at the Super Silver Thunderdome. This January, I'll, come the, I'll become the champion GSF deserves, 66 American Kid proclaimed during a, pro, a promotion in front of 25,000 fans in the Kokoro Hall. New act proposes increased surveillance. We have nanomachines tracking people 24-7. However, due to the violent protests that have taken place recently, Prime Minister Quincy is now proposing a new law that will allow the government to shut down anyone with nanomachines in their body using a pulse signal. Mm. Many people died during the protests, and that could have been avoided if we had more control over the masses, Quincy said during a parliament meeting. We have the technology to simply shut down lawbreakers. It's a non-lethal way to end any kind of conflict, and it's common sense to use it at this point. When asked about the possible negative consequences, Quincy refused to make any further comments. We live in a dystopia. Yup. We live in a society. Kiramiki Encore Concert announced. Fans of the famous cyber idol Kiramiki are in for a huge party. All thanks to the announcement of a second concert in Glitch City's Silver Thunder <laughs> Superdome. I'm so yeah. excited to extend my visit, Woo. declared the cyber idol during an interview. That's me. Tickets are now up for sale and expected to disappear in a matter of minutes, so be quick and secure the best spots. You can get the tickets from the following retailers. Ticket Lord and Idle Hell. Wait, can we go to the Kiramiki yeah. concert? I saw you do the click. We cannot unfortunately buy tickets. We cannot unfortunately Aww. buy tickets. Uh, Plus, they're probably sold shame. out by now. Literally yeah, as we finish reading that out. article. Uh, Makise, Makise, releasing EKDV 186 update. Is this the greatest thing to ever grace planet Earth? I literally can't stop touching myself. Nice. Uh, Such a high quality release. Look, nice. Why is the camo blurry? I think it's a regulation for the civilian models. Something's off. I'd be all over this normally, but I can't seem to get excited over this. Your shit taste is showing. Now, I just think I'm kind of dissent, dissent. I'm kind of tired of the same thing over and over. And that's what happens when you consume way too much fucking military equipment and weapons. Yeah, I think it's that. Better stop buying so many weapons already or I'll never find pleasure in them again. Any word on the camo stuff or other civilian weaponry? They said they were going to announce more stuff on a later date. I like porn, you guys. Proud of you. This is, ju this is just Reddit. Very brave. This is just Reddit. Ink shame him. Invisible guns. When are they going to whip out the invisible tank? Oh boy, another <laughs> missed call from the New York Blood Center. Wow. They want my blood. They want your blood. What a bunch of vampires. Yeah. Do you got right. the good stuff? Yeah, I got the good stuff. I got the good stuff. Got the right. gook. Alright, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's do a little more work. Let's do a little more work. Work. Work, 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 work. <clears throat> Oh, that's good enough, baby. Good evening. Are you okay? I feel like shit. You sure should. Are you sure you should have come then? You're in all the right to. You're in all the right to stay at home. I have to come. I threw away everything I had in my life to be here. People I loved were pushed aside just so I can enjoy my freedom of being here. My stupid, stupid freedom. So I will come here unless until I die, even after the bar closes, until my hair falls out. You're the one who looks like she's about to fall apart. Your eyes are red and swollen. Yeah, well, your hair is hairy. Oh, got him. Oh, yeah, you did. yes it is. <laughs> Take it back. Uh, who was the dipshit that changed the order of the glasses? It was me. I was the one washing dishes yesterday, remember? Oh yeah, I was too busy staring at my crumbling life and all that. Okay. Why don't you go oh. home, Jill? You're in no position to deal with people right now. Go home, rest a bit. My girlfriend, my ex-girlfriend died and I wasn't there to see her one last time. All because of a fight I spent all these years regretting and wishing to, but never actually apologizing for. My decision to assert my freedom and grab a hold of my life led, to, led me to this. A bartender strapped for cash that distanced herself from her loved ones for no other reason than selfishness. So I won't fucking leave. I threw all that away to be here, so here I will stay. This is what I wanted. This is what I left all, all of that behind. This is why... See? You're starting to sound like a broken record. Oh, leave her be. I'd rather have her here than be alone in her apartment. How are you feeling, Jill? I feel like a shit-eating piece of shit. The lowest of any Damn. possible life form you might find. 
Nanobs Great look down at me in disgust, knowing they're far superior. Uh, you're really spirited. That's good. Jesus. Where's the mutt? Working with Sierra. At Sierra. I know what I said. In any case, let Jill process her anger. It's perfectly normal to feel that way. And here, she's surrounded by people that care about her. That's a lot better than leaving her to fend for herself. I mean, as smart as four might be, he's still just a cat. Then why not have Jill stay, but not serve anyone today? What part of I won't leave didn't you understand? I didn't leave everyone behind to just sit and do nothing. Fine, fine. <sighs> what do we do if she lashes out at a client? That's why you're here, Gillian Pliskin. Who? Pliskin. Hey, Jill. What? I'll be in my office, but if you need a break or a hug, just tell me. All right, put in anger for all twelve yeah, tracks. Sadness <laughs> sucks. Yeah, see, th this would be this would be an instance where I feel Jill would canonically put on the same sad song twelve times in a row. Yeah. <laughs> crawling yeah. in my skin. Yeah, there we go. My skin I'm is crawling in. Crawl. Crawling Crawl. in. Crawling in my, in my scrum. Oh, you already put on music. This is going to be an interesting day. Oh. Yep, it is exactly what you could, think it is. Who is this? Is this for Julia? It sure is. <laughs> the hall of heroes keeps shining, brimming with the... Do I smell pacos? Wait, it's outside. Never mind. Oh, hell no. <laughs> we meet him. again, but... Uh, no. <laughs> Virgilio, <laughs> what can I get you? Today, the luminous pollution on the streets makes it seem almost like a starry sky. And when I think about stars, I think about celebrities. Celebrities are fishy, and my favorite fish is the octopus. So I want something octopus-like. Aren't you going to do that weird bartending thing? I'm waiting for you to order like a decent human being. I'm not uh, following. Spell out your order like you're a human who is not in need of medical help. Fine, then. I want a sparkle star. S-P-A-R-R. Cool -R. star. What? I think he had a stroke halfway through. I think he didn't know how to spell it. He was spelling it out, and then he... He didn't know how to spell it, so then he finished it. Yeah. He was trying to spell it out, but then he realized he was dipshit, so he stopped. Alright, but how is it octopus-like? Fucking Virgilio. Virgilio. Yes. Octop octopi are the most sparkly fish in the ocean. Uh, debatable? I don't think. Uh, are octopus Have you ever watched fish? rainbow fish? They're not fish. No, I'll say they don't think they are. They're cephalopods! One sparkle star. Something See? odd. Was it that hard? Cephalopods. Have you tried to spell under pressure? You look under angry pressure. spelling bartender. Oh, the spelling bee. Have you, are you having the time of the month or something? No, I'm just filled with ridiculous amounts of anger, pain, and self-hate, and... On second thought, you're not that far from the truth, I guess. I get those too, you know. Periods. Right? Yeah, there's one on your forehead. <laughs> you do? With a question mark, actually. <laughs> a question mark, you buffoon! Yes, last month I finally got my over my, over my renaissance and moved to my enlightenment. Execute him, fucker. And here I was, That's... thinking you'd get to say something serious for once. Are you implying I'm not serious? Yes. Glaring holes through me will do nothing. I'm glare immune. <sighs> but if you allow me to give you a sincere piece of advice... Whatever, it's not like it'll help. You shouldn't kick yourself so much. If you keep it up, any chance of finally forgiving yourself will someday be gone. 
Self-hate will leave you with a hole that will never heal. So ah. please, take measures against it instead of sulking so much. I'll be damned. That actually sounded half sensible. Here I was thinking you were just a pompous lunatic. Hey, pompous lunatics have stories too. Really? What story? I rather not tell. Figures. A Want anything else? And a lunatic. Have you ever seen how the a, a, a bad touch? Bad touch. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, she didn't laugh. Oh, she's yeah. not laughing. No. Wait, give him a purple she's nipple. emotionally oh, no. scarred no. by her own stupid decision. Here. Yeah, I guess this is the one. Maybe he's right and I shouldn't be so hard on myself. Even though I deserve every second of it. If only I had apologized earlier. Might not be feeling oh, this way right now. Hello? If only if I... If only I, I... I can't even remember what held me from apologizing all these years. Um, bartender, you're making a lot of faces there. Pride, fear. What kept me from I'm being ignored. To Lenore? I can't even fucking remember what feeling kept me from fixing this whole situation. Like I'm just on a screen. Can I at least find solace in whatever feeling it was that brought me to the situation? Great, now I'm feeling even worse thanks to not being able to muster whatever feeling held me. Is she okay? No, but just leave her be for now. Hey, Jill, mystery. Hey, Jill. I re <gasps> Good guess. Yeah. Oh, thank God, a normal person. <laughs> what? A mummy? Is it cursed for Jillio? No, no, I, I don't have kids. <laughs> <laughs> Still no only, in this time. Only... The only normal response, I guess. <laughs> That's fair. How are you feeling, Say? My bones are still broken, but at least the cuts are healing nicely. Thank God I'm not someone that scars easily. Um, I mean, wounds don't leave me marks. It, it'd be a problem if I couldn't get scar tissue. What happened to you? F fell off two and a half stories into some trash and rubble. You look better, though. Last time you came, you looked like you were about to collapse emotionally. <laughs> I guess. You're the one who looks like it now, though. How do I put it? It's like when I called you your full name, but magnified. Yeah, don't mind me too much. I'm in a bad mood. Anything I can do? Please forgive me if I suddenly lash out at you or anyone else. If you want something. My tongue's not so sensitive today, so let's have a beer. Fantastic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you? Such a change in tone. I, I'm fine. I don't need anything. Let's make a beer. Now just sit here and ponder. Ponder my orb. I'm sorry, I don't see an orb. I just see a question mark. <laughs> it's invisible. Uh, yay. L let's see if there's any differences from the canned ones. And canned this, orb. This one tastes less watered down. So did something happen to you? I'm fine. Nothing's happened to me. People who are fine don't act like that. Uh, oh, I get it. You're in... Those days. When it's that time of the month, I get a bit sulky. No, I'm not on my period. No? I'm dealing with the loss of someone, okay? Oh! Uh, uh, sorry. Awkward. Don't worry. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have come today after all. Um. No, I... Hmm. Maybe... Ah. Are you alright? I'm trying to find something to say. Making a joke would be tasteless, and I can't say everything will be alright without it sounding... cheap. I'm... at a loss... to what to do here. Sorry. 
20 or something weird. It was exactly like that when Stella came here on Monday talking about you. Uh, oh. Well, ladies, I'm leaving as I don't have enough attention. Virgilia. <laughs> wow. Yes. You were just sitting with a Valkyrie. Really? <clears throat> Splendid! This will make a good entry in my poem's blog! I feel bad about the way I treated him today. Though for the fact that he was being cryptic with his orders for no good reason. <laughs> like Stella when she first came? Yes. No! I mean... <laughs> you could have given him a free beer or something and apologized. Yeah, just keep messing things up with people. But, you know, he seemed familiar. Familiar? Yeah, I can't put my finger on it, though. I just feel like I've seen him from somewhere. Ah, well, it might just be that he looks like someone from an ad or something. So, what brings you here? Uh, I wanted to come with Stella, so I'm waiting for her. Why here? To be with you, of course. Hmm. That reminds me. How did Stella react when you arrived? <laughs> she slapped me. Real hard. It, it hurt. She said, that's for making me worried and not listening to me. And then she became happy. Huh. Can I ask whose loss you are dealing with? You shouldn't be bothered with it. Just pretend I'm in a bad mood and call it a day. Oh, okay. Um, you really want to know, huh? <clears throat> I can't help it. I don't like seeing people sad. I just need to know context, not details. Someone to whom I said some mean thing to pa some mean thing to passed away before I could even see her ever see her again. Does that work? Yeah. Sorry. Knowing I can't do anything helps me calm down, but uh, I mean, it's not that I wouldn't help. It's just I just calm down. I get it. I can't contain myself when I see people in need. But I've learned that there are times when you, you just can't do anything, and that's kind of fine. Thank God I learned that, otherwise I would have gone insane ages ago. You're a good person, sir. <laughs> nah, I'm just an annoying girl. Still, if there's anything I can do to help, let me know. I have broken bones, but that doesn't mean I can't offer emotional support. You could always order another drink. Oh yeah, that. Let's do that. Get me something cold, please. All right. Something with ice. I am straight up gonna go through all of these on the rocks. Bad touch. Uh. Room light. So unnecessarily brown. Mm-hmm. Cobalt velvet. I like brown. <laughs> Gut Punch, Mercury Blast, Moon Blast, Piano Man, <laughs> Sunshine Cloud, Suplex, and a Zen Star. What should we go with? Uh, fucking she. I don't know. Uh, uh can... piano man or piano woman are the most expensive that have ice. Trying to maximize oh. profits. Let's... Piano man, I mean. Piano, piano man, man isn't on the rocks, but. Yeah, I mean, all the guide says is cold. So, but uh, I feel I feel bad. I feel bad. <laughs> Given I feel bad. Given the most expensive. Item mm -hmm. to, to say. She's nice. Meh. <laughs> Mercury Blast, then. <laughs> Rock. Blend. Paper. Scissor? Shoot. Paste. Blender. Mercury Blast. Mercury Blast. Here. It's pretty cold outside, though. Yeah, but I don't like hot or warm drinks. They make me feel nauseous. You know what cheers me up? What? Hearing people sing helps, too. Do you sing? I mean, did you take singing lessons or something? 
No, people have told me my voice is pretty nasty, actually, but they've told also told me I'm good with the harmonica. So you play the harmonica. I needed something to do some breathing exercises with, and a harmonica is a lot smaller than a tuba. And I guess if you practice enough, you become decent. That's something I didn't expect. I hear that a lot. I, I know I don't look like the musical type. I used to play the violin right until I was 16 or so. Really? Can you still play? Violin's at my mom's house, so I don't have it with me. But I guess I could. It's one of those things you don't forget easily. <laughs> Why did you stop? I don't know. One day I just felt like stopping. No deep reason behind it. <laughs> just like me in cooking. That and almost burning my place up. When's Stella coming? Now that you mention it, she's a bit late. Let me call her. You do that. I'm going to take my break. Tell Gil if you need anything else. Sure. Alright, do we want to finish this day off? Or do we want to call it here? I'm okay with that. Depending on how anyone else is feeling. I get a bit tired, but I, I could go either way. Yeah. I have no strong feelings either way. Let's finish the day then. Ian, you made me yawn. <laughs> Sorry. Got him. How dare you? <laughs> Sorry about that. Thank you for yawning on video, on audio. <laughs> That's it, audio. Now I made all of Twitch yawn too. <laughs> Stella and Say made me make me a bit jealous. Uh, jukebox, please add the the song Jealousy to the all 12 tracks. Back. Also, punch. Punch. Punch, punch man. Punch. It looks like you've calmed down. I still feel like kicking myself, make no mistake. But I guess I cooled down a bit. So I helped a lot with that one, though. I just can't stay mad when I see her. Speaking of which, where is she? I believe she went outside to look for that Stella girl or something. Oh, well, Mark, what? that's you, I think. Oh, this is Stella. <clears throat> it's the way you are right now. It feels like I should be protecting you. Hey, the only thing hindering me is the broken arm. I've gone into burning buildings with a two centimeter deep cut. Yeah, I remember that one. One millimeter more, and you would have lost a motor function in your arm. Welcome. Uh, hello, Jill. What's this about protecting who? Yeah, um, I'm sort of like Stella's unofficial bodyguard, but I'm not really fit for such duties right now. My father insists I go everywhere with protection, so most of the time I only ask Say if she feels like going out. She's my precious little blueberry, after all. She's trained to deal with the kind of things that bodyguards deal with anyway. And she's more fun to hang around with, too. So I'm assuming that Gorilla outside is a bodyguard. That's Buster. Pretty cool guy. He, he played football professionally until he lost his leg in a demolition dirty derby. We've offered him an implant surgery for all his years of service, but he rejects it every time. Well, he got used to the replacement he's using, so maybe it's for the best. It's a thick oak branch and a metal bowl tied to his stump. And yet he can still run faster than me with it. Not much of a high bar, it's true. Do you want something? I'm fine right now. A brand... A brand teeny? A big one. I'm in a good mood. One big brand teeny for Stella. Six, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, a two. H, mix, stop, done, serve, here. That is a very sweet drink with very little alcohol. Yeah. That is what I desire. After all these years, I still don't get why the finest and most expensive things come in small packages. Ever tried to go to a restaurant only for them to serve you a really small portion of some fine food? It's bullshit, sir. Last time I did, I burned down the establishment. 
Sometimes you just want to stuff yourself with really cheap food. Right, let's go for some hamburgers later. I'm not taking a no for an answer. It has been six two thousand sixty nine years since the burger. Now <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that is a oh. reference to something. Oh my god. <laughs> That was a deep one. <laughs> Haven't you done well? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bravo. I know what you mean when you say some, you know. You might as well call the place and tell them to prepare everything in advance. Can I ask you two something? Sure. I suppose. How did you two meet? Stella showed up in the park I used to play at when I was a kid. We played a couple of times, she started showing up more and more, and that was it. My father told me that when I was five, I kept insisting on going to a quote, real kids park, end quote. We drove for some time, and the park I liked was the one Say happened to be at. Have you ever seen a girl in a dress go to a muddy park? She learned her lesson and started showing up with more fitting clothes. But man, that's a scene I can't forget. What did you expect? I am a German princess. Like Rapunzel or Harry Potter. So you, you, <laughs> you two have known each other for most of your lives. Good. I've known her longer than I've known my own father. Why the question? No reason. You two just look so comfortable with each other. Any other person could have sworn you were an item. An item? What kind of item? A purple say. A cute one, too. Oh, I... Yeah, I get it now. It's funny because we actually earned a mock prize of sorts for best couple at Stella's high school. Three years in a row. Cute. They really liked the blueberry strawberry thing we had going. So you two didn't go to the same high school? Nope. Oh. Don't you have any childhood friends, Jill? Childhood friends? Can't think of any. My grandpa, I guess. Pretty cool. What kind of a man was he? Gruff. Kind of eat raw bronze and roots every morning. Ugh, the fuck? But around me, he was different. I have memories of him barking orders to my dad only to turn around and play with me gently. It's interesting, though. He was my mom's dad, but after my mom and dad separated, he stayed with my dad. Yeah, he's the one that comes to mind when I think about childhood friends. Oh. Depressing. Hey, Jill, what's this bloom light? A spicy drink. It tastes nice the first time, but it gets samey after a while. It's also brown for some reason. Give me one of those, please. Not one, two. Got it. Two bloom and lights it's for the girls. Bloom light, delicate little flower. Bloom light. I'm gonna go it's dig a hole in your back. It's not necessarily brown. Bones are the milky rocks. bloom light. <laughs> got some good bones to put in the It's brown. <laughs> oh no, the milky bloom light. <laughs> you know, you should rename that one to Deer Poop. I eat it every day. <laughs> Buy me one more time. <laughs> to, 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 do you want you want to run that by me again? It's dog things. What dogs do. But why is it a talking dog in the bar? And I'm off. <sighs> Two bloom lights. You could say the. No, I no. don't know. <laughs> I I kind of like it. Yeah, but after the third one, it starts tasting like sand. Like I had you put in that weirdo's drinks the other day. Spicy sand, but sand nonetheless. What is spicy sand? Who's cinnamon? <laughs> Doing the line. Oh god, she passed out. <sighs> uh, I guess she had too much before I came. Felt that and said she must still be tired. From the whole bank thing. Yeah, she told me about everything that happens in there. To be honest, I don't think I would have made it in her place. I guess I should be thankful for the nano machine treatment she went through as a white knight. treatment trauma suppresses basically it helps with the healing process of the PTSD 
It's mandatory for every knight of white, for every white knight, regardless of division. No. Oh. Still, healing can only do so much. For three days, that bank was hell. Poor say is still paying for it. Poor delicate little flower. The disbanding of the white knights and subsequent persecution of those who were identified as the former members. It's unfair, you know, among all the people using the white knights to further their own goals. Say I was one of the few that actually believed in what they were supposed to do. It paid off, so. The doctor who treated her wounds was the same one who... Well, the same one she's always assisted with accidents and emergencies. He treated her at no cost whatsoever. Well, good karma and all that. No, he was a German doctor. She's earned to God's favor, I think. But, you know, all of that made me realize I might be a bad person. I am part cat, after all. Oh. When I saw Save Wounded asking for help, part of me was happy. After all this time meeting her, she finally needed me. I felt truly useful to her for the first time. Oh, how sad is that? Sometimes the best help one can provide is to stay alive. Who knows, maybe it was the idea of coming back to you that helped her. And I guess you wouldn't be human without thoughts like those once in a while. Maybe. Can I get you anything else? I'm good. I should be leaving, actually. Come, sir. Let's get the hamburgers and go home. <laughs> yeah. We'll be leaving now. Twenty bucks if you slip in some sand into someone else's drink. Thank you. Please come again. No. It they're, they're gonna go to 20 guys. I'm literally no. 20, 20 guys. guys. 20 Jesus. guys burgers and fries. You know, hyperinflation and whatnot. Five guys yeah. just doesn't cut it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not in this economy. Mike. Feeling better? There you go. Oh. No, I just don't reek of rage. But I still feel like a piece of shit. Little steps, I guess. Kim? Ooh, Kimberly Bimberly from the first fucking day. Is that me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, hello. Ah, Kim, welcome. I was afraid I'd mixed up the directions and it up somebody else's house or something. What can I get you? I'll have a sunshine cloud, please. Sure. One sunshine cloud. I should probably not talk so fast. Optional. Three. One, a two, a three, a three. Crunch. Blend. Sun cloud. Here. It's like an orange. Thanks. So, how's work on the web paper? Oh, I quit. Uh. What? Yep, I went to the office of the chauvinistic host world and told them I quit. Why did you do that? I arrived early to a meeting and got some assignment. I spent hours doing it only for the other bitches to come and ruin it. After that, I didn't have time left, and I was, and so my supervisor scolded me. So I snapped and quit on him. A whim. Oh. Don't you have any second thoughts? Regret anything? I guess I'll always have second thoughts, even if you don't know what you want. You'll still think, what if? Even so, I was getting physically sick there. I dreaded the arrival of every morning. I even almost... What I'm saying is I don't know what I'll do, but it's certainly better than it being here. There. I feel free. Free. It's a wonderful feeling. I feel like now I can find something I care about. I won't return to the augmented eye, but I can still pursue journalism with another outlet. I haven't felt like this in, well, never. <clears throat> what about your family? They weren't happy, that's for sure. My dad took it better, but my mom freaked out, to put it mildly. What are you gonna do and all that? Roll dog But I'm mm. not here about that. Give me a big drink, please. What kind? I don't know, bubbly or something? Anything. something anything big. Big and bubbly. Sounds <laughs> like a beer. <laughs> Sounds like beer a bubbly. big beer. And bubbly. Beer. Isn't that what her boss, ex-boss, drank Cor all the time? Correct. <laughs> he drank beer. Big beer. 
big bear. Big, big bubbly bear. Only bear. A big bear. Give me a big bear. Give me a big bear. Give me a big bear. Excuse me. I'm, I'm working for a big bear. Big old, big old, big old, big old, you know, big you know, you know, oh my God. you know, the uh, big beer. Hey, Cleveland, you want a beer? <laughs> there you go. It's really good. If our internet commercials are to be believed, this would will clean my out my insides. It'll also kill things inside you. You gotta ask though. So how did you end up working there? Like bleach. No deep reason. That's what I did. What I got out of high school. A year off was out of the question, so I went for the first thing I thought about. But I couldn't get into the robotics course, so I saw up for journalism. To be honest, I got tired of the job midway through it, but I couldn't bring myself to leave. So I had too much pressure from my family. It's a really common tale, I guess. You have troubles like these? Same story as you. I just went through the motions. From high school to college, I never stopped to think about what I was doing. Then at some point, I just felt like my life slipped through my fingers. Suddenly, all I wanted was freedom. A little pause to stop and take a breather. My life went to hell for that fucking breather. <laughs> um, give me your something! Something? Sorry, I just have a dry mouth. Anything will do. Alright. She asked for, uh, something. Literally. Well. Something. The, uh, uh the something... Yeah, the something, something we are going to do is... And then anything. What? The secret drink. A Ooh. single glass of karma mm. tree. The, the moisture oyster. The secret drink. <laughs> what is the secret drink? The Fibonacci sequence. Horse One, one two, three, three, five. Five. Huh. Is it, that's it? Is that it? Yep. Do I ice it? Nope. Just No mixed. age? Just mixed. Just mixed. The flaming moai. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my well, okay dude. then. What? Um, I'm drinking an Easter Island head apparently on fire. You didn't drink. light things on fire. <laughs> the Whoa. secret drink. <laughs> what does it do? Uh, new, uh, new secret characters. Oh good, secret good, good. Tunnel. Yeah. Uh, Through the, the mountain. mountain. So you have to serve a flaming moai to three specific people. Well, just two specific people. Um but three people total okay. because the first secret character will just show up if you serve any client a flaming moai <laughs> i see oh. does that happen like immediately uh no this happens okay. on day 14 so we're still a ways away uh here you go what what day are we on uh we are on day 10 oh okay here thanks mm, i feel like i asked for something i shouldn't have what is this don't fret about it. I'm just in a, a rough spot right now. I'm just so depressed I'm making flaming moais. What are you gonna do now? Honestly, I don't know. I do feel liberated, however. Like, I can do whatever I want. Study whatever I like. Work wherever I want. I know it's not the way. It won't be easy, but I feel like a lot more confident than I was at high school. I honestly don't get what they put young people through. Barely know how the society works through that one. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Your mental health should be your priority and all that. Thanks. I really needed the encouragement. Come back if you need more encouragement. Wouldn't all dare leave someone alone when it comes to this sort of thing. Thanks. Bye, Jill. That Please drink was again. weird. <sighs> you should take some of that advice for yourself. I know, I know. Let's call it a day for now. You need some rest. <laughs> oh no. Can't close yet. Oh no. Hey, Dorothy Honey. is at least good, good spirits. Ah, Dorothy. Sorry, we're just closing. I know. I came for you. Uh, for me. Oh. Wait, what, why are you hugging me? I paid her to do that. <laughs> you probably oh, didn't no. need to. Night long. Oh gosh. Oh, no. Exactly. To put it simply, Dorothy will go to home with you and she won't leave your side. Again, I'm not sure you had to pay her to do that. What do you hope to accomplish with that? I had to be sure. Well, at first it was to calm that rage you had earlier. It was either hugs or a cold bucket, and I don't promise there'll be any water in it. You calm down a bit, but honestly I know better than you to leave for alone for another night. 
At the very least, all the cuddling will give you an epiphany or something. That's some alien reasoning right there. It's not. You need hugs. Many. <laughs> you need some human... Er, humanoid contact right now. You had your alone time. Now we're playing by my rules. Take care of me. Greet yourself. Buy something nice for you and Dorothy. And do other I stuff. I don't judge. <laughs> and other stuff. Here's $500. Jill wants to get in the holiday mood. Buying a mega Christmas tree will prevent her from getting too distracted. I knew we were going to get to there eventually. But it's where's the... Dorothy? She's not in the image. <laughs> Shop. Mega, mega Christmas tree. Mega Christmas tree. Mega Christmas. Mega Christmas. Mega Christmas. <laughs> Celebrate the bastardized commercial version of an already bastardized celebration. Two gens bastardization. Mega Christmas. Mega Christmas. <laughs> Will be a Christmas worth remembering. Oh my god. It's not that mega, it's so tiny. <laughs> wow. Mega tiny Christmas tree. got so bad, while well, we get a small. <laughs> it burns, but it generates no heat. It's smaller than your beer. It's it's small coal. Oh, it's who was that little? A very good friend. Yeah. <clears throat> Day 11. Room. <sighs> and that's where we're going to leave it. We have yeah. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine days remaining. Good. Nine, 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 nine days. Nine. So we are so, a little nine, over halfway nine, through nine days. this lovely nine, little tale. I am enjoying it very much. Yes. <laughs> Bro, I think it's a pretty good time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Who other? What other characters we have? Oh, we do have another interesting character. Wow, I, I wasn't expecting Virgilio actually to show up in these days. <laughs> the first, <laughs> the first fucking day after every shit goes down, he's Virgilio. <laughs> it I is mean, like, it, at least he was cooperative. Yeah, at least he was. I I was a nice oh, person oh. this time. <laughs> Merry Mega Christmas, everyone. Oh god, I'm tired. Fuck. And to all a mega night. <laughs> I had to go to, to bed. To all a mega Fuck. night. Mega. Much May like Jill all... himself, I must go to work. May you all spend copious amounts of money on things you don't need. But and want. May your... And may your stars be artificially bright. Black Friday is already over. Yeah. <laughs> But mega, me but mega, mega Black Friday is not everything, yeah, bet everything between everything between Black Friday and Christmas is just shop. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, well, yeah, that'll uh, that'll do it. We'll uh, we'll see you all next week. Uh, oh. Make a plan.